Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another Streetwear Talk video. The series where we cover the latest streetwear releases, we cover the latest streetwear news, and of course in the series, well, we just talk about streetwear pretty generally. In today's video, we've got an upcoming collaboration to talk about. One that is releasing this Thursday, May 13th. What collaboration are we going to be talking about? Well, we're going to be talking about the Supreme Timberlands collaboration that is releasing for Supreme Spring Summer 2021 collection. You heard it right, guys. For week 12 of Supreme's Spring Summer 2021 collection, we are getting a Timberland collaboration. Now, this will be interesting. Uh, from what I know, Timberlands is owned by VF Corp, the big business that recently did a buy-in into Supreme. They now own a portion of Supreme. So this will be interesting. Supreme or has always collaborated with Timberland. It's not because VF Corp now owns you know, partial ownership of Supreme that this collaboration is happening. They have collaborated with Timberland for ages. One thing I have to say about the past collaborations, though, is that they've never been really, really good. <laughs> the collaborations have been all right. Uh, it's just that when they do do a collab, there's like one or two pieces that are all right. The collab in its entirety, in whatever season you pick, eh, <laughs> it, has, it hasn't been really good. This upcoming collaboration will be the first time that uh, Supreme and Timberland collaborate now that Supreme is partly owned by BF Corp. So it could go one of two ways. It could be really good now that they have more freedom to do whatever the hell they want because they're all owned by the same conglomerate. Or uh, it could be really, really bad and just be like all the other Timberland collaborations. <laughs> we'll have to see. That's what we're going to find out in today's video. So we'll cover all the release details, all the official images, and my thoughts and opinions on this collaboration that will be releasing in week 12 by, of course, using a Hypebeast article. Now, I will also bring up this collaboration, obviously, when I do the drop list video for week 12. So stay tuned for that if you want a, another take on this collaboration. But let's head on over now to the Hypebeast article that I have for us, and we'll start covering the release details for this collaboration. Here we are guys at the Hypebeast article that I will be using to cover this collaboration. If you guys want to check out, uh, you know, the release details, or you want to read the article yourselves, or you want to steal the images for phone backgrounds, <laughs> whatever you want to use the article for, it'll be linked down in that description section below. But let's quickly dive into the release details for this collaboration and then we'll dive into the 28 images to see what's releasing in the collab. So the Supreme Timberland Spring 2021 collaboration will see a global release but, uh, available by the Streetwear's Imprints website on May 13th, 11am EDT time in the United States. So this Thursday and then unfortunately if you live in Japan you got to wait a little bit longer and it'll be releasing Saturday May 15th 11 a.m. Japanese Standard Time. I don't know why Supreme gets uh, dropped in Japan two days later but it is what it is that's just how it is. Well that's all the release details for this collaboration guys let's dive into these 28 images and see what Supreme and Timberland are going to be giving to us in week 12. So as we can see here, the first item that we are getting this week is what looks like to be an ANRAC styled piece. It has a front pocket right there on the lower chest with some jewel embroidery branding right there. We also can see it comes with some 3M strips on the shoulders. Uh, because of the orange color of this piece, it kind of looks like you're a tradie. It looks like you're going to tell me to slow down because construction work is ahead. I don't know if that was the intention of this collab, but uh, well, well, this color of this piece, but that's how I feel about it. I can see that it's got a blue lining on the uh, inside of the hood to match the blue embroidery down there. The color scheme isn't too bad, but the orange one, seriously, it, I, you look like a tradie. You just, you look like, well, a very uh, cashed up tradie. Someone who's willing to splash the cash on a Supreme <laughs> Timberland jacket. But yeah, uh, odd piece. Odd piece to start off the collaboration. Let's keep pressing on and see what else we get. So it looks like we get the same branding on the back done in embroidery as well. Initially, this was the first image I saw of the collaboration and I got excited. I was like, oh, the jeans aren't too bad. They look like painter jeans or, you know, carpenter jeans where it's like double need. Uh, and the jacket, oh, it looks like a coach's jacket. 
Only did I find out when I swiped right, this second image came up and I was like, ah, oh, it's a anorak styled piece i would have loved it to be a coach's jacket with that branding on the back of it i feel like that would have been a really sick piece to release this week but unfortunately not the jeans look all right i'd be interested to see what's on the front i'm hoping that they kept the branding minimal on the front we'll have to see okay so we can see that we're also getting matching nylon sweatpants to match the upper half and the upper half also comes in a black and red which will feature the black and red branding on the back you got the 3m strips on the shoulders and on the um shins there ah uh, miss me with that I'm, I'm not too interested in either of those pieces uh, i can see people wearing the full get up but it's just not an outfit that i can see myself wearing it's not something that i'm hugely interested in I don't know if the cap is co-branded in and in this collaboration we'll have to keep pressing on to see if that's the case and it is there we go so in this third or fourth image we can see that the, we're also getting a cap this week and as i assumed we're getting that embroidery branding on the back i like that they went to the effort to embroider the branding on the back it would feel a little bit cheap with them cheaping out and going with a screen print on it so it's nice to see some little bit of extra effort put into it it also looks like you get some elastic uh, drawstrings here at the waist side so if you're a little bit thinner and you don't want the piece to be like a dress on you you can tighten the waist area which is always nice pressing on we get it coming in a purple and the pants coming in a white which i assume means that we're going to get a white version of the upper as well we're also getting a black cap and you can see the branding on there so you can have the full track suit in orange black looks like purple and white Moving on, we get a crew neck. I kind of like this like 90s, early 2000s design on the front here. Supreme with the Timberland logo next to it. It's simple. I like the cuffs on it. I like it how it's got like collegiate styled cuffs on the uh, neckline, the wrists and everything like that. It's not too bad. Moving on, we get a beanie showcase to us with a red version of the crew neck sweater again a nice piece the beanie is not too bad i like the logo applied to the beanie that's all right and now we get the pieces showcased to us individually so here's the purple jacket the front and back showcased to us uh the orange one showcased to us front and back the white one showcased to us the black one and all the colors there so none of these pieces really speak to me i'm not a huge fan of just this silhouette but I can definitely see this popping off for a lot of people. This is definitely a piece that a lot of people would be kind of keen on. Uh, next, we'll get the pants showcased to us in all the same colors, so you can have the matching pants. We'll then get, ah, yes, more photos of the denim jeans. This is the piece that I was the most interested in. Uh, it does have the double need denim there, so it's extra durable. And the, there's basically no branding on the front. We do get a little Supreme branding there, but barely noticeable fairly noticeable and on the back we obviously get the co-branding on the butt pocket there i actually quite like these jeans these jeans are nice this is definitely my favorite piece releasing in this collab oh and it comes in all these colors look at that damn the salmon's kind of nice this color here that's kind of nice all these colors are really nice i don't know how i feel about having the rivets on this piece like contrasting so much on the white but yeah this is kind of slapping they did well with the colors of the denim this week. I like this. Okay, so the pants are a hit for me. The Anrak stuff wasn't. Yeah, these are nice. That's nice. I think the crew neck's also quite nice as well. Uh, I like its branding on the chest there. The final color there is kind of whack. These three are all right. My favorite's probably the... Uh, mm, yeah, any of these three is all right. This one, not so much. I don't like that last color there. That one's a bit of a miss for me. Next we have the cap showcased to us with the mesh pocket on the side. They'll come in the same colors that the jackets came in that we show looked at first. And last but not least, we get the beanie showcased to us, which match the crew neck sweaters. I've got to say, all in all with this collab, it's better than I expected. I had very, very low expectations coming into this collaboration. I thought it was going to be really, really bad. But the beanies, the crew necks, and the jeans a kind of a hit the anrak stuff the nylon based stuff not for me uh, and the cap not for me that stuff you can miss me with but this stuff it's not too bad and knowing supreme timberland everyone's gonna buy it when it drops gonna realize they hate it a couple months down the line try and sell it on grail 
And that's where I'll come in and uh, maybe pick some of it up at a nice price. <laughs> the classic move, you know? Yeah, uh, it's all right. I actually, half of it's okay, half of it's not, but that's just how I personally feel. Uh, let me know how you guys feel about this collaboration. How do you feel about the Supreme Timberlands collab that is releasing this season? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know down in that comment section below. But that's everything to be said about this upcoming Supreme Timberlands collab for the Spring Summer 2021 collection. It'll be dropping this Thursday, May 13th on Supreme's online store and in stores. Uh, for me, I won't be going for any of this. I can't because I live in Australia. But I mean, if some of these items appear further down the line at like a nice price on the secondary market, I consider picking up that crew neck. Maybe, well, I mean, if I could fit into the jeans, maybe the jeans. And the beanie's all right as well. But I want to hear from you guys. Are you going to be picking up any of these pieces that are dropping this week? Or do you just stay away from the Supreme Timberlands collabs in general? Is it just not for you? I want to hear how you feel about this collab and whether or not you're going to be picking up any of these pieces this week down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Supreme collabs, upcoming, you know, weeks for Supreme when they drop them, or just upcoming anything to do with Supreme, <laughs> don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, a comment in the comment section down below saying you want to see more Supreme content, and the best indicator you can give me is a subscribe to that channel. We're trying to hit a new subscriber milestone this month as well, guys, of 2,980 subscribers. We're like two subs off. So subscribe today and hopefully we can reach that milestone before the end of the month. That's everything I got to say about the Supreme Timberlands collaboration, guys. Good luck to all of you guys out there looking to pick up a piece this week. I hope you managed to pick it up in the color and size that you're looking for. But uh, that's everything to be said about it. So until the next Supreme video, until the next Timberland video, until the next Streetwear Talk video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.